G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. We'll start with some old footage of pigs and bulls up in the coastal ranges there of Queen, central Queensland. Ready to shoot. Hop him. There's the boy at the back. Quick. Hop the other one, quick. Hop it. Shoot it. Two groups of sows. Yeah, I'm going to see him. Big black fella. Up him again. Perfect. Here we are, central Queensland. Been wandering around these hills since a oh, little past five this morning. Uphill and down Dale. Come back down here into the low country, into the creeks. Uh, picked up a bit of sign. Shot a few pigs. Put up a mob of cattle and out comes this scrub bull. It's all happened in the last 15 minutes. Here we are on the second day of the hunt. On the way out onto some uh, bull territory and picked up a dingo. Two days hunting, a couple of pigs, scrub bull, and this fella. Not bad going. A lot of people don't realise just how rough and thick this coastal range country is. It's hot, it's steep, and oftentimes it's really dry. But this is where you'll find big clean skin bulls that just simply can't be mustered. This bull we're chasing, he'd been attempted many times to be mustered by uh, horse or by chopper and uh, you simply couldn't do anything with him. He'd attack a horse on uh, first sight. He was suffering from the effects of the fruit of the zamia palm which gives them a sort of rickets or staggers and they just simply get too cranky to handle. Get up to the tree. Hang on, don't shoot his horn, mate. He's down. This guy wanted to attack as soon as he saw us. A shot from the 458 soon changed his mind. He's a good boy, mate. He was facing you there, too. Oh, yeah, he was ready. What do you reckon? Mate, I'm going to have to go shoulder, I think. I really do. Beautiful bull. Well, here we are on the second day of a three-day bull hunt in uh, on the coast in central Queensland, I suppose you'd say. Um, it's been a fantastic trip so far. This is our second bull. I took another bull in February. Nowhere near as good as this. I came up specifically to get a better bull, and I couldn't have hoped for it. Couldn't have possibly hoped for a better one than this. Thanks very much, Clark. Now up in this coastal range country lives a guy named Cole. And uh, he's been a good mate of mine now for 30 years. He's a true gentleman and a great bushman. And we love oftentimes doing nothing more than just getting out there and exploring country, looking for a barramundi in a water hole or a crocodile. I must think he's a bit too big for those eagles to snap at it. Otherwise, I reckon he'd be a good bait for an eagle. Beautiful. Still looks in reasonable for the condition. Oh, yeah. yeah he need a life of blinking luxury, isn't he? A little fishy. You know, they just have a, a yabby on a, a, on a float there. Yeah, you know. Oh, Clark, get the water. At this stage, I just bought my first Argo all-terrain vehicle, a six-wheeler. 
and uh, Col and I would use it to go out on the sands on the tidal estuaries when the, when the tide had gone down and we'd go up into some of these places chasing barramundi or trying to find one of those elusive 20 foot crocodiles and uh, yeah a lot of fun and good times with uh, probably one of the best border collies I've ever had and that was a dog named Ty. Ty was something special. On this part of the Queensland coastline, when the tide goes out, you're left with great expanses of open sand. When there was enough water, you could drop the motor down on the Argo and keep going. Otherwise, lift the motor and race along the sand. What we're looking for is these big patches of bait fish that were driven in on the edge of the shore. There's only one reason that they're hanging on the edge, looking frightened. There's good fish on the outside. Bait in the Styx River. What's your tie? Lift him up, mate. That's a good mullet. <laughs> Come on, kiss him. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, you smell. He's his teeth this morning. Uh, Do we want him? Want to see if he swims away? Yeah. Block up, Tide. Block up. Block up. Skidder, block up. This dog of mine will block anything. Look at that. Oi, oi, don't bite it. Very good. <laughs> now, when Colin goes fishing, he likes to travel light. All he takes is a cast net to catch some live bait, a bucket, a little bottle of water, and a hand line with a single hook. He still gets results though. Oh, look at the lovely yellow Nice fish, mate. <laughs> well done. Very nice, lovely. Hold him up, mate. Go on, cradle him up nice. Go underneath the belly. Okay, there's a few more like him in there. Okay, what are you gonna do? Let him go? Those lures do work. Look at that fella. They do work. Hang on, Tony. There's one guy, get away because he's a good crowd, look at that! <laughs> oh, you're joking! <laughs> well done! Joke. Right in a little puddle. <laughs>